This week I've got a tip for quickly making audio loops for games and such like. I do see this question pop up on Facebook now and again, so I thought I'd have a crack at it. Here we go. So to show you this technique, I'm going to use a short percussion clip that I actually wrote for the Saga Acoustic Trailer Percussion Library that I featured earlier on in the show, and it sounds like this. And if we wanted to export that as a audio file and loop it in a game, normally you just export the whole thing, chop it down to size and there's your loop. But unfortunately because of all the verb tails and such like, the loop doesn't sound very realistic. You can hear that gap. So we can rectify that by actually recording and bouncing the loop twice. So we'll copy and paste the original MIDI information of the loop and then we'll bounce the entire thing. And do make sure the snapping in your door is set to beats or bars to make sure of clean edits and we're going to use the second part of the loop. So the first part plays through and it's already looped around and you get the reverb tails into the second part. And that loop should sound a lot more smooth. And that's how to quickly and easily make seamless loops in your door. Thank you so much for watching. That's just a small taste of the Samplecast, a weekly podcast and YouTube show for sample library geeks and plug-in enthusiasts. You can find out more information at thesamplecast.com. Don't forget to subscribe.